to the Punjan classroom. Today we are going to learn to set our own table by actually drawing it. Wow! Is that not amazing? Drawing and learning something new at the same time. Come on, let's take out our pencils, crayons, drawing book and start. So tell me, what do we first place while setting a table just before a meal? Oh, excellent! You know that. We lay a table mat. So, let's draw a broad rectangle for a table mat. Now, what should we place on the mat? Yes, you are right. Let's draw a nice round plate. A round and round circle and one more circle close to that to make a rim for the plate. Ah, and who knows where do we place the table knife which is used for cutting cooked food like an omelette? Yes, you are absolutely correct. A table knife is placed on the right side of the plate while a fork is placed on the left side. Table knives are placed on the right as we cut with a right hand and the fork is placed on the left as we pick the food with the fork using our left hand. But but but! What if someone is left handed? In that case, the person will cut with the left hand and pick the food with the right. And what about the spoon? Let's draw a spoon on the right side of the plate as we use our right hand for eating with a spoon. Here we go. An oval with an opening at the bottom and then a handle at the opening. This was simple. And we should place a glass on the right corner of the mat. So let's draw a sleeping oval on the top, slanting lines going down and inwards from the both sides and a sleeping oval to join the slanting lines. And finally, let's draw a serviette next to the spoon. A square napkin which we use for wiping our hands and mouth while eating can also be called a serviette. So, let's draw one and make some zigzag lines on it. Now that we have set our table, let's draw our favorite meal on the plate and then color everything. I'm going to draw a pizza because I love pizzas. Yummy! What are you going to draw? Enjoy drawing your favorite food and coloring it. We will see you soon in the Punjan classroom with something new. Bye-bye!